Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to Final Fantasy XIV, I have a tutorial playlist that you may find helpful, especially the videos about making gill and housing design. A link will be at the end and in the description. Now to the topic at hand. The Final Fantasy XIV Hydellen Zodiac arc ended with Endwalker, completing a decades-long endeavor with thousands of hours of gameplay. A masterpiece, really. It was then up to Square Enix to craft a powerful new story to keep players engaged and subscribe. Did they succeed with Dawn Trail? Well, if the reviews and early discussion tell us anything, the answer is no. The expansion has two major problems. At first, it's boring. The beginning hours of the game are chocked full of fetch quests, along with unnecessary and uninspired dialogue. It's not just me saying this. One Steam review laments, This is the first time in 10 years I've been disappointed by a Final Fantasy XIV release. After six hours of absolute boredom, I simply gave up and logged out. Another states, The story and characters are all super mundane, boring, predictable, and unfunny. One more. For a story-driven MMO, and after the success and experience I had in Shadowbringers and Endwalker, I'm absolutely disappointed in the mess we've got presented in this MSQ. It's so lackluster and unfun that it made me outright bored and even angry at times. This is the exact opposite of what Square needed to do with Dawn Trail. If any expansion needed to start with a bang, it was this one. Not a barrage of fetch quests. Having been a part of the community for years, I understand that a portion of the player base will defend absolutely everything in the game, no matter how awful it is. But this is not the way. That said, is anyone really surprised by this? I mean, we went from this in a trailer. To this, now to the part that is going to really piss some people off, everyone knows that Western culture is split in two in 2024, and Square Enix, along with their ethics department, have overtly chosen a side. Which leads me to the second major issue with Dawn Trail. It's too politically left. Sorry. Having the main new NPC B trans is dividing the player base. I can't get over the uncanny voice acting of Wook Lamat. The English voice actor is trans. The character is fine through character flaws and all, but I can't help but cringe when there's voiced dialogue of her. A completely avoidable issue that has resulted in the mixed reviews for the game. Whether you agree or not, the reality is many players feel like this. Wook Lamott is an insufferable miscreant. Wook Lamott feels like having a story where Jar Jar Binks is the main character and your own character is now inconsequential. And while LGBTQIA folks online are enjoying the Dawn Trail branding, agree or not, it has and will continue to turn a multitude of players away. In the English version, anyway. Because in other languages, the character of Wook Lamott is quite different. Ooh, you aren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. I'm Wook Lamat, claimant to the throne of Tuli Hyuala. Though you may personally like it, trying to appeal to that mythical modern audience has not gone well. Maybe this will be the exception. Personally, I do not think a boring and politically charged expansion was the best way to kick off another decade of Final Fantasy XIV. I am convinced that Shadowbringers was the apex of Final Fantasy XIV, and that it's all downhill from there. I hope I'm wrong, but if the Square Enix Ethics Department has anything to say about it, I won't be. I will always be grateful to Yoshi P and team. However, as one Steam reviewer said, maybe I'm just too old and it's finally time to go. We'll see, I guess. Cheers.